Okay, so uh, welcome to the very first virtual Global Opportunities Fair for uh, York St. John University. And this session is on Baldwin Wallace University in the USA. And uh, we're very lucky to be joined by Rose today, who's one of our study abroad student ambassadors. Um, so she can hopefully help me with any questions at the end as she went to Baldwin Wallace uh, last year. So just to give you a bit of information uh, on the presentation about Baldwin Wallace and um, sort of the wider area and what you can expect really when you go. So it's in Ohio in the USA. It was founded in 1845. There's currently uh, 2,964 undergraduate students and 227 members of staff. So it's quite small, really. Um, and there's an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So you'll be in good hands. Um, so its location, as you can see highlighted in the red there, it's in the eastern area of the USA. Um, it's kind of the best of both worlds, really, because you've got the historical and residential parts of, uh, of the area with parkland. But then you're only kind of 20 minutes away from Cleveland. And obviously that's a very big city um, and it's got the hustle and bustle. You're also under a four hour flight to Toronto and Montreal, which might seem like a lot to us. But I think in America, that's, uh, that's practically neighbours. <laughs> um, so in Cleveland, you've got famous food markets. It's a very affordable city. There's lots of sightseeing to do. You've got the Art and Natural History Museums. There's lots of businesses too, with key links to the city. It's got a very famous theatre district with the Playhouse Square. Uh, you've got natural beauty too. So you've got a great lake, botanical and cultural gardens. It's home to the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of, um, and to professional sport teams too. And then the National Park is only 30 minutes away. So you can cycle, hike, canoe, kayak, um, any outdoor activities that you'd like. So here's some pictures of Cleveland to give you a real idea of, uh, of the mix that you can get whilst you're there. So in terms of who can go and when, uh, we've got quite a lot of links with Baldwin Wallace, which is good. So if you do film studies, you can go in your second year in either semester one or semester two. Um, media, you can go in second year, semester one, semester two, or the full year if you wish. Um, that's the same for York Business School too, um, everything except accounting and finance. Uh, also the same for religion, philosophy and ethics and theology and religious studies. If you do uh, drama and theatre or drama, education and community, you can go in the second year in the first semester. And if you do physical education and sports coaching, you can go in your second year in the second semester. So why Baldwin Wallace? Well, it has a really strong community feel. It's in a great location. You've got kind of the small, safe suburb area, but then you're near a major city too. Um, it was uh, in 2021 edition of Best Colleges. Um, it is the, in, oh, put my teeth in. <laughs> in the 2021 edition of Best Colleges, uh, it's the regional university in the Midwest, and Bald Baldwin Wallace is number 10 and seventh in undergraduate teaching. So it's really quite high up there. Um, a lot of its classes, over half, have got fewer than 20 students. So you're going to get that real kind of personal feel when you're there. Uh, it prides itself on its uh, teaching and, and excellence um, in learning so you've got a really good strong community there i think with really good links um they really want their graduates to be compassionate citizens in a global world and we do like i say we have such strong links with them you'll be going with lots of other students from york st john as well most likely and there'll be other international students there and um the graduates from there have been in uh, 40 broadway productions so um you've certainly got that good inlet there if you're from a, a drama and dance background uh, so they sent through, because unfortunately they couldn't be here today, so they sent through a short video, which I'm just going to play now if uh, technology works, hopefully it will. <laughs> uh, I think I need to switch my screens. I'm just... We just love technology. Uh... Sorry about this, just trying to get it to work with the correct screen. Right, here we go. So I've put this on full screen. So this is their promotional video, just to tell you a little bit more about what you can expect when you're there.
Okay, so uh, we'll just go back to the presentation. Uh, if this is going to let me, hopefully it will. Uh, where has it gone? There we go. Okay, so yeah, that's just a short video of um, what they've sent through. So you can get the, the real kind of enthusiasm from the students there. Uh, so the student life there, it's um, quite traditional. There's more than 100 clubs and societies, so you can get involved in quite a lot in extracurricular activities. Uh, there's all different student run events. Um, so you can see some of these here, like uh, hypnotists, musicians, comedians, late night programs. Um, and you can really kind of experience culture with a mix of uh, music, theatre, lectures, that kind of thing. Um, there is another video there, but I'll put the link to this presentation in the chat box too. So you can click through those. So housing wise, it's on uh, what we call a bed for bed scheme. So what that means is you pay your accommodation fees to us at York St. John. So you'll pay, um, this is based on this year's rate, it's £1,550, which is the standard rate for the Grange. And then you live in their accommodation and their students do the same. Now, it's not a literal bed for bed in terms of, you know, we need to have, you're not taking a particular student's room. It's just the name of the scheme. Um, but it means that you obviously pay quite a low rate, really. You don't pay anything more than you would expect to have paid this year. Um, and you can live abroad there. There's 1,700 students living on campus. So you're really involved in that community lifestyle. There's different sites on offer too, so you can uh, find out more when the application process opens and they'll send you that information through. And that's it really in terms of uh, finding out more. So I'll just cancel that and come back to you guys here. And uh, we'll open the floor up for any questions or if uh, if there's anything, Rose, that you want to add um, just before people get either typing or talking, then you please feel free to. Um, I'll go, yeah, if you want. You yeah, can. great, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Hi, um, I was at Baldwin Wallace for second semester of last year um, and it was honestly an amazing experience. Even though I had to come home three months early, it was still worth the time that I spent out there. It's so, as you said, sort of like the class numbers are small, the amount of students there is like a small amount but that means that then you're able to sort of it's easier to make friends within your classes with your professors like everything's very personal like everyone knows who you are you don't go into a class and not know all the people in there which is really nice um our accommodation wise we all ended up in the um it's called e-house which is the like abbreviation for it but it's called it's something German and I don't want to try and say it because I'll absolutely butcher it. Um, and that's where most of the international students were. And then there was also um, some international student reps that also live, live there with you. And they run activities throughout the whole time that you're there. Like they take you into run all of the um, induction stuff the first weekend. Um, they then do other trips um unfortunately most of them didn't actually end up happening this year but um i know that in the past they've gone you go to the rock and roll hall of fame um they also run like shuttle buses so every day there's someone who is driving one of the Baldwin wallace cars and it means that you're then able to go places that you wouldn't be able to get to on your own which is quite nice um so they'll drive you to the like the metro station to get the metro into cleveland or to target or walmart or places like that it's really good and i'd recommend using the most of that like use it as much as you can because that's one thing that i didn't do the first few weeks i was there and then got into it more um it's just a really nice area as well like as you said you've got cleveland like the big bustling city but you've also got um, the rocky river of reserve which is literally a 10 minute drive away and it's beautiful scenery like lovely walks along the river up on the cliffs and stuff like that it's really lo lovely like i wouldn't i don't think there's anything i would recommend more than going to Baldwin wallace or just doing study abroad in general like if you don't end up going to Baldwin wallace go somewhere because it's worth it it is a life-changing experience for the better 
I think that's mainly anything, but I'm also happy to answer any questions about anything. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. It's, I know it's great that you uh, managed to have that good experience, even though, unfortunately. Good to see the... the yeah. from a Salvation Army that's about 10 minutes away from the university, and I got it for $4. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, but you also, um, that's something, you pay for a meal plan while you're over there, so you get all your food provided from the canteen. And one of the things that they also give you are oh, flex dollars, that's what they're called. So you, I think we got 200 flex dollars, but they can be used in any of the shops on campus, so it doesn't just have to be on food. So I bought, I've got like a Rain Mac that's got the, um, I think it says Yellow Jackets on it, which is their... It's what they call all their sports teams, the yellow jackets. Um, I think that's one thing as well that I'd recommend doing if you do go, go and watch the sports games because I didn't and then went to one and it was the women's basketball team that ended up winning this massive competition and it was amazing, but I wish that I'd sort of seen them through it all. So yeah, just get involved. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. I think the, yeah, in the US, the sports teams are quite big, aren't they, in the, in the colleges and things there. But yeah. <laughs> That's great. Um, as, if anyone's got any questions, um, please feel free to, to raise your hand or if you want to type any into the chat box, obviously while uh, myself and Rosa are here and we can do our best to help or obviously contact Baldwin Wallace if it's something that we don't know the answer to. Uh, I'll just give it a minute, Rose, if that's okay, just in case anyone's typing something. Obviously it might take a while to come through um, and if not then we can uh, finish up the session but hopefully it was useful to everybody. always that silence while we uh <laughs> we wait if anyone's gonna go <laughs> uh, what was your accommodation like rose was it was it good um did you share or so you share so you do have a roommate um i think out of all of the international students I think there was one person that didn't have a roommate but that was just because unfortunately the person who was supposed to be in that room with them had dropped out um but um i ended up sharing with a girl from japan but quite a lot of the other internationals were sharing with like normal Baldwin Wallace students who had been there and quite a lot of them were their second or third year um and it's a bed a desk and then a wardrobe um the beds you can like loft them so you can make them like higher which was quite fun trying to work out how to do that <laughs> very noisy we got quite a few noise complaints that first few weeks of all the international students lifting their beds up and then realizing they didn't like it and dropping it back down again <laughs> uh, it has a the accommodation itself has like a lounge area i think there was like a ping pong table like a little fireplace but they never really lit the fireplace but it was there um tvs um which do get like what i would guess would be our free view mm. probably have a different name from it over there um but you can i think they all have like hdmi cables in them so if you wanted to watch i know when the new season of sex education came out we watched that we watched the oscars um and then there's also a kitchen upstairs which is quite good for using your flex dollars you can go and buy like pasta and pasta and sauce and stuff like that noodles there's a kettle there so from past international students have left kettles and pans and plates and stuff so that people can use them while they're there which is really good there is a big sort of community of passing things along with the international students as well there so yeah well, that's, yeah. that's really good that's useful. you don't want to be taking pans on the flight with you really do you <laughs> No. Okay. Um, well, nobody's asked anything as yet, so um, I think we'll call it a day there. So I'll just uh, cancel off this recording now. I'll stop it rather, not cancel it. <laughs>